If you thought this two-time Olympic gold medalist and World Cup champion, Hope Solo, was a fighter on the soccer pitch, just wait until you hear about the battles she's waged off the field. Here's what Hope Solo has been up to. Solo's relationship with former NFL tight end Jeremy Stevens got off to a rocky start. In 2012, police in Kirkland, Washington arrested Stevens for allegedly assaulting and injuring Solo during a house party. The very next day, a judge dropped the charges per the Kirkland reporter, and the couple tied the knot. But more trouble followed. I was a victim of domestic violence at the hands of a my 17-year-old nephew. In 2014, Solo was arrested and charged with domestic violence against her half-sister and nephew, but charges were dropped for good in 2018, according to a local NBC affiliate. And in 2015, the LA Times reported Stevens received 30 days in jail after a DUI arrest in which he was driving a U.S. soccer van with Solo as a passenger. Solo was suspended for 30 days by U.S. soccer as a result. But since then, it appears to be smooth sailing. The pair relocated from Washington to North Carolina, where they live a low-key life on 60 acres of farmland. In 2017, Solo told Veal magazine that they wanted to get away from the media spotlight and focus on healthy lifestyle changes. Following her suspension from U.S. soccer and the termination of her contract in 2016, Solo claimed in the documentary Keeping Score that the decision wasn't based on her comments or actions, but due to her advocacy for equal pay. She said, "...they're going to use my comments as an excuse to get rid of me forever so that they don't have to deal with such a strong voice and opposition to field conditions and playing conditions and pay." I am more impassioned about this fight now than I ever have been before. Solo and other high-profile players filed a complaint to the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission that same year. Solo also partnered with Street Soccer USA, a nonprofit organization that seeks to, quote, fight poverty and empower underserved communities through soccer. In her role as diversity ambassador, Solo pushes for more female representation in the coaching ranks. The more female coaches involved, then the more young girls will participate in the sport of soccer. In a 2018 op-ed for The Guardian, Solo blasted the U.S. women's soccer team, stating that, quote, "...something is broken, as the team is made up almost entirely of what she called, quote, the white girls next door." U.S. soccer's mission statement is to make soccer the preeminent sport here in the United States. We can't do that unless we make it accessible." Solo urged that the scouting system needs a complete overhaul to have a bigger presence in underserved communities. She wrote, "...scouts and coaches typically focus on the suburbs of big cities, usually where there is an MLS team, and wait for kids to come to them. There are some great kids in those programs, but it is not the only way to find talent." She said of the Street Soccer USA program, "...and what they're doing not only makes our communities better, but it makes the world a better place for all of us." Despite being suspended from the game, Solo ran to be in charge of it, according to The New York Times. In her official Facebook announcement, she outlined the need for equal pay as well as diversity in scouting, writing, "...soccer has always been a middle-class sport and in more recent times has become an upper-middle-class sport. I know exactly what U.S. soccer needs to do, I know exactly how to do it, and I possess the fortitude to get it done." But establishment candidate Carlos Cordero went on to win the 2018 election. Joining the ranks of sports legends Muhammad Ali, Babe Ruth, and Steve Prefontaine, Deadline reports that Argent Pictures has optioned Solo's life story rights. Writer-director Christine Crocus said, "...Hope Solo is a force of nature who broke down walls in women's sports, both as a player and as a humanitarian. Her story is one of pure trailblazing and fierce athleticism, one that many generations to come will honor and look up to." As of mid-2019, there is no scheduled release date for the film. Solo hasn't played competitive soccer since the 2016 Olympics, but she's not ready to hang up the cleats just yet. She told the AP in 2017, "...let's be clear, a goalkeeper peaks a little bit later in their career, so I feel like I have many years ahead of me if that opportunity arises. I'm very happy with my career should I walk away from the game today, but I'm not one to retire. I have not retired." Although she and U.S. soccer aren't on the best of terms, Solo hoped to play in the 2019 World Cup. She said, "...I'm in the best shape of my life. Should U.S. soccer welcome me back, then I will be in the goal competing, but it's highly unlikely they're going to ask for me to come back." And they didn't. The USSF tapped Adriana Franch, Ashlyn Harris, and Alyssa Nair to tend goal for the 2019 Cup. But while she won't be on the field, Solo will be continuing to fight for equality in the sport. She told the AP in May 2019, "...I'm really happy where I am in life. I fulfilled everything that I wanted to fulfill on the field. I hold almost every goalkeeping record. I'm not sure there is much more that I could have done." Check out one of her newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.